When we start talking about preparing food and how we should be eating food, uh, it, the very important issue is to understand that some foods have to be eaten in their raw stage, in the shape like they have to be raw. Like vegetables, for example, fruit, they have to be in the shape they are. Because once you start cooking them, first of all, you eliminate the most potent chemical in food, which is called enzyme. You eliminate lots of enzymes through the food by cooking, making that food, as I like to call, dead food. So. Uh, not to mention vitamins and minerals, which are all thermounstable and they simply disappear with, within seconds once they're exposed to high heat and all that. So food has to be served and prepared in that way that you preserve the food in their natural shape with all the qualities and, and goodness that they, they bring with them. Unfortunately, what we have, we have a trend and culture these days of uh, cooking and um, different recipes and we, 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 we actually consider cooking as an art. Um, I like to say quite often that, that actually you just poison yourself by cooking more. The better cook you are, the more you will poison yourself or others around you. So the more you treat the food, the more you kill the food. Dead food wouldn't do no good to your body or new health. So food has to be preserved in the way that it is fresh. If we have to cook something, fine. But nowadays we cook everything. We just put things together. For example, if you look at the celebrity chefs today, they're quite popular on TV, they are almost every day, as I like to say, poisoning the nation, and I explain to you why. What I can see there, I just can't believe that this is legal. I mean, you have probably 50, 60 ingredients in one meal. I mean, every, every specialist will tell you uh, how much human body has to work hard, how much enzymes and, and, and acid and other digestive uh, juices the body has to produce in order to digest 50 different ingredients in food. Again, go back to the nature and have a look. When you have a piece of meat, there's just meat in there. There's just simple natural ingredient there. All of a sudden you will have meat with potatoes, with this, with that, with some vegetables in there, and then seasoning, one seasoning, another seasoning, then butter, then sugar, then salt, then extra seasoning. Then you cook another side dish, which will be mashed potato with something, and, and again, 10 different seasonings, our oil, our onions, and this, and that. And you mix everything together. And when you put that on the plate, for me, this is not nothing but atomic bomb which will end up in your stomach. And this is what we consider art. Sorry, but I have to disagree completely with that. I, my art is fresh vegetables with nice piece of steak or chicken on plate. This is what I call art.